Hello friends, hope you are doing well. So if you are using Windows 11 and you are getting any kind of startup repair, for example, this kind of blue screen and you can see the error line automatic repair or startup repair could not repair your PC. If you face any kind of uh, startup error on Windows 11, in this video, I will show you how to fix this issue. So first click on this advanced option, then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option so the first option you can try is click on this option startup repair so this option will repair all the startup corrupted files so click on this option this will diagnose your PC and try to fix startup files so you have to wait around uh, 3 to 5 minutes In the most cases, this method will fix your issue, but in my case, the error is still same startup repair, startup repair could not repair your PC. Now move on to a next method, click on this advanced option, then click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option, then click on this option command prompt. Now select your login username. Then enter your password, login username password. So this is my command prompt window. Now you have to type few commands to repair your windows corrupted files. So the first command will be sfc space slash scan now. So this command will repair or replace your windows corrupted files. Press enter and this command will take around three to four minutes that's it now type the next command boot rack space slash fix mbr so this will fix the mbr file press enter now type the next command boot sec space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command boot rack space slash fix boot press enter now type the next command boot rack space slash rebuild bcd press enter now move on to our final command chk dsk space slash f space slash r space c colon so this command will repair or fix all the errors from your hard drive press enter and this command will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete so i will fast forward this video so the process has been completed now cut this window and after that click on this option continue and this will reboot your system and fix your error as well so this is all for the video thank you